Dr. Seuss by Ellery Rosenzweig, Fifth Hour. Dr. Seuss's real name is Theodore Seuss Geisel. He was born March 2, 1904 in Springfield, Massachusetts, and he died September 24, 1991 in La Jolla, California. Dr. Seuss was married to Helen Palmer in 1927. She was not able to have children, but encouraged Geisel to make cartoons. Dr. Seuss was a children's author and illustrator. His first book was Think That I Saw It on Mulberry Street about a boy who lived in his hometown of Springfield. In total, Dr. Seuss published 48 books. His most popular book was The Cat in the Hat. Dr. Seuss is influential because he changed children's literature. He made creative stories and taught children lessons that were easy to understand. He made vocabulary to make his poems rhyme. This made reading fun for children. Dr. Seuss taught many life lessons in his writing about love, ecology, politics, friendship, self-esteem, and not to judge. Dr. Seuss impacted children's overall reading with the fun new rhythms, rhymes, and words making children want to read more. The amount of children reading grew exponentially. Dr. Seuss also impacted the style of poetry, making it fun and not serious. He made the lines rhyme and flow. First writing selection is the Lorax. I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees, for the trees have no tongues. I've meant no harm. I most truly did not, but I had to grow bigger, so bigger I got. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get bigger. It's not. The story is about a curious boy who wants to know why his town has changed from the natural state. He finds the Onesler and they tell him the story of the Lorax in a flashback. The Onesler also tells the boy how he can change the town to make it look like it did in the past. The Lorax has techniques like a rhyme scheme and it uses personification to make the trees have more emphasis in the story. The point of view is third person omniscient. The writing style is poetry but also is persuasive because it is trying to convince the reader to care for the environment and speak up. This story inside of the Lorax is told in a flashback by the Onesler. The theme of the story is to be green, no deforestation, pollution, and to care for the environment. The literal meaning of the story is the curious boy wants to know where all the trees went, and the Onesler tells him the story of the Lorax who speaks for the trees. The philosophical meaning is to remember about the environment and to treat it with respect. My second writing selection is Happy Birthday to You. If we didn't have birthdays, you wouldn't be you. If you'd never been born, well, what would you do? If you'd never been born, well, then what would you be? You might be a fish or a toad in a tree. You might be a doorknob or three baked potatoes. Be a bag full of green hard tomatoes. Or worse than all that, why you might be a wasn't. A wasn't has no fun at all. No, he doesn't. A wasn't just isn't. He just isn't present. But you are. You are you. And now isn't that pleasant? Today you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is more youer than you. Shout loud. I am lucky to be who I am. Thank goodness I am not a clam or a ham or a dusty old jar of sour gooseberry jam. I am who I am. That's a great thing to be. If I say so myself, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you has the technique rhyme scheme. The point of view is second person, which is very rare. The writing style is poetry and word repetition. The story also is set in Katru, a weird place that celebrates an amazing birthday party for the reader. The theme of the story is to be yourself and how great that is. The literal meaning of the story is a bird in a town wishing the reader happy birthday. Philosophical meaning is celebrating individuality and standing out. We're excited. Thanks for watching.